Uh, number 22, the administrator recommending approval resolutions for the proposed terms to be included in the agreement for private development by and between the city and Asa Abue Door Company, Door Group, excuse me, Curry's and Graham uh, Parent, uh, for property located at 1600 12th Street Northeast, uh, number C, uh, Mason City, Iowa. Mr. Trout, before you can take a motion, you want to open this up here? Um, sure. The project that uh, is before you for approval is uh, work through with the uh, North Iowa Quarter at Mount Bell Corporation to come up with a figure relative. Uh, didn't sound right. Sorry about that. No mic. So, um, this is a project that through Corporation uh, at Mount Bell Corporation we've been working for getting approval for, and it is a project that will, I think, begin to uh, open up an area on 12th Street Northwest that, uh, for development. Um, I think probably the best way, though, is to ask Grant Willow to come forward and uh, address this the particular project and some of the particulars that we work through uh, during the negotiations. Mr. Willow. Good evening, Mayor. Council, thank you for having me. Um, as Mr. Trout mentioned, I'm here tonight to speak briefly uh, regarding the terms of a development agreement for Os Abloy Door Group uh, for a, a product test facility project that, as Mr. Trout referenced, the corridor has been working with the company and the city staff uh, for a, a several months in uh, securing for Mesa City. Um, the company Os Abloy Door Group, which, which of course is the parent company of Curry's and Graham here in Mason City, currently contracts uh, its fire testing of products via a third party uh, entity, including products produced here at the Graham facility in Mason City. Os Abloy intends to develop its first owned test facility in Mason City uh, at the 12th Street North <coughs> East property owned by the company. Uh, the facility would employ three full time uh, new hire people. Uh, which and would again be a test facility for the Osaka Door Group North American operations, uh, a, a specific, I think, an important um, uh, a notation on that is that we're talking about product testing, not only for products produced uh, and designed at Graham and Curry's here in Mason City, but throughout the uh, Osaka Door Group system in North America. Uh, the, the facility would serve as an attractant to company officials, suppliers, and vendors from throughout the country. Uh, would serve as a localized resource for product development at ASA facilities in the region, including Graham, uh, will assist in the sustaining of peripheral trades jobs, uh, such as tradesmen who will be contracted by the company to construct test frames and other supporting equipment related to the testing of the products uh, being undertaken every day at the facility. The court are supportive and excited about the project for, for the reasons I just mentioned, and really two others. The project represents a significant capital investment and some job creation at the Osaka facility at the 12th Street Northeast uh, facility, a complex which has not seen uh, development for several years. And as Brenton mentioned, uh, the, the servicing of a critical infrastructure piece like sanitary sewer to this uh, area uh, uh, provides future opportunities uh, for development in the area. The attraction of, and, and finally, the attraction of core research and product development opportunities which exist within our existing uh, business uh, space here in the North Iowa corridor, like this project represents, is a core strategy for the corridor's economic development efforts in the region to really leverage the existing uh, uh, relationships within our existing sector uh, that this project represents. As a global company like Asa Abloy develops and grows confidence in a local market like ours, uh, which it clearly has uh, by supporting the hundreds and hundreds of people who work uh, for the system here. More investment flows its direction as represented here. The project in that way is up emblematic of that and we see the opportunity for more moving forward as we put our best foot forward to secure this project. I fully support and respectfully request you give consideration to Mr. Trout's recommendation relative to the development agreement to assess, assist in the extension of sanitary sewer lines to the building. This is a $750,000 total capital expenditure product project, the $175,000 number recommended by Mr. Trout uh, 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 to assist with sanitary sewer extension to the facility is a product of a good faith negotiation had with the company, uh, facilitated by the corridor uh, and uh, on the city's behalf. Uh, this agreement 
uh, will go a long way in securing this project for the area. Uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll finally make a quick note that the language uh, in the memo suggests that the uh, expenditure recommended here uh, would represent the, ex the exhaustion of, of uh, uh, City of Mason City financial resources to the, to the development uh, and future redevelopment of 12th Street Northeast uh, as that proceeds, and, uh, uh, but for the circumstance of a major new jobs uh, project, which would then be uh, obviously revisited. So in a way, uh, provide some level of uh, budgetary predictability for the city as it relates to that development out there. One of the other uh, pieces of the negotiation had between the city, the corridor, uh, and the company. And I'll just add before I, I turn this over, Mr. Mayor, uh, Chris Childs, who's the VP of Operations for us, oh boy, uh, Door Group North America is here, and Tom Rete, who is the technical products manager with Asa Abloy, is also uh, here today and available to address the council, should you wish. Thank you, sir. All right, do we have a uh, motion and a second? So moved. There a second? Second. Thank you, Mr. Kuhn, I believe. Uh, Mr. Tornquist. Yeah, I, I tend to look at things financially first and, and try to ascertain if they make financial sense. And in this case, the 750000 total investment is uh, going to create about $11,500 in incremental uh, taxes in any given year once the project's complete. Plus, they're sharing in $35,000 worth of public infrastructure improvements. That would be their share for the sewer line. And so if you run the numbers, this has somewhere around a 12-year payback. Just strictly on the financials, that doesn't take into account the benefit to the community for three incremental jobs, which are very hard to measure. We don't know if the employees live inside the city limits or not. Uh, but it's three new jobs in Mason City, and that's a good thing. It doesn't take into account any of the residuals of people that are coming to Mason City to visit because of the fact that the facility's here and they have a business need to be here, and the incremental hotel, motel, uh, taxes that'll go with that, restaurants, um, things like that. So to me, it makes financial sense. Um, and it also helps us work with a local company to put a sewer along a stretch of road where, quite honestly, we're, we're void with utilities. So uh, it's mutually beneficial, and I support it. Thanks, Mr. Quist. Mr. Keenan. Thank you, Mayor, and uh, thank you, Mr. Childs and Mr. Tate, for being here tonight. I, uh, I appreciate your, your presence, and um, I, I hate to ever use the term no-brainer because no two people think alike, but I, Curries and grammar are a staple of, of Mason City and employ hundreds of people, and although this is not a massive job expansion, uh, research and development to me means future growth, and um, I, I'm fully supportive of this. Um, excited for you to uh, be bringing this project to Mason City. And for me, when we're talking about uh, replacing the subject to a, a sewer line, that's, it's easy for me since that's a, a city responsibility uh, as far as the sewer work. So um, excited about the project. Uh, wish you guys the best of luck and nice work this. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Mr. Keenan. Anybody else? Mr. Hickey. Just some folks that for the folks that don't know, this is the old David Manufacturing location. Um, again, for relationship building, possible future expansion and growth for the future. Um, some new jobs. Um, as Mr. King said, it's a no-brainer. So thank you for your investment in our community. Thank you, Mr. Hickey. Anybody else? Mr. Lee. Um, Again, I kind of agree with everything that was being said here in the financials. Mr. Report is what I really wanted to see the increase in taxes and, and do we regain this back down the road somewhere? And I agree with that. I just want one quick clarification, and I, I think I know the answer, but just clarifying these three new jobs, they are not new positions where people will be moved from across town. Is this, I mean, that's, I, that's correct. Okay, I just want to make sure the Burbage was what I was saying, so. Yes, I think three net new jobs. I just want to make sure that was well, semantics. So thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lee. Anybody else? All right. We have a motion. We have a response. I'm sorry, Mr. Mr. Q. I forgot to mention when we talk about the 12th Northwest project, the fact that they came for no help on a, a, a large expansion, that's also very appreciated. So this is. If, if, and if I may, just for a moment on that, on that point, Mr. Trout's memo outlines it quite well. Uh, cl clearly, Curry's and Grant have, have uh, injected a hugely significant amount of capital investment into 
uh, the community, uh, even of late, as, as Councilman Kuhn mentions in post three hundred uh, and has not uh, 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 sought uh, uh, city assistance in that regard. This is a little bit of a different project. Uh, these kinds of facilities can locate many places uh, throughout the continental U.S., and we wanted to uh, we want to ensure that it, it lands here in Mason City uh, and and uh, continue and, and, and sends the message uh, to the leadership uh, on up the ladder at Osceola that Mason City is interested in securing more and more of these projects. Anything else, Mr. Kim? All right. Anybody else on response? All right. We've got a motion and a second. Seeing no further discussion, our call roll. Tarnquist? Yes. Kewen? Yes. Hickey? Yes. Marinas? Yes. Silver? Yes. Lee? Yes. All right, thank you, Councilor. Mr. Childs, Mr. Rote, thank you very much. Please thank Asa Aboy. Uh, it's been an honor to have Curry's and Graham here grow up in this town, and we appreciate your continued stewardship of something that's really become a Mason City institution, and we hope to have you here for years to come. Thank you. Thanks for being here.